All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostle and elders at Great Millstone who do rule and teach well. And I want to give a peace and salutations to all you Akim out there pushing this truth across the four winds so we can seal the elect and make it to the kingdom. All right, it's the brother Yara, Lord willing, coming back to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to feed the body and edify the sheep in all spirit, faith, truth, sincerity, and doctrine. All right, uh, this is a land back uh, off of off of a uh, video I came across earlier. Uh, a uh, brother had posted it, um, so I'm actually we're actually gonna check that out. Um, but it's pretty much about you know going into all the the media surrounding uh, what they what what they say was um, a so-called UFO or UAP. All right, uh, being shot down uh, by the military, the U.S. military, okay, uh, between well, Wisconsin, Lake Michigan, and Michigan, okay. And uh, I'm not sure what the title of this lesson would be. Um, maybe it'll be uh, "We See You Devils" or uh, "Esau, We Don't Believe You," you know, because we don't, we don't believe you. You know, those of us that are, you know, a uh, uh, blessed with this, this, you know, the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem El Shai, all right. With this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding as a gift, you know, we don't, we don't believe this devil. Okay, we see right through you as we, as we look through a looking glass, all right, as it is written. So uh, I'm gonna play these two videos. I'm not gonna play um, all of the, the uh, first one. Okay, I'm not sure what. what I'll play this one first. And then we'll bring out some precepts and lower willingness is edifying to the body and the feet, the sheep, to the spirit and poverty. How about Shemel Shai? The latest now in our breaking news, the U.S. military has shot down another high altitude object, this time near Lake Huron. This would be the third object brought down in as many days. Let's go now to CNN's Arlette Signs at the White House. Arlette, you have new details about this object. What are you learning? Yeah, Paula, a senior administration official providing some new details to myself, Natasha Bertrand, and Phil Mattingly detailing what exactly this unidentified object looked like. Now, it was flying at about 20,000 feet when it was shot down. It had been flying uh, over part of, um, of Michigan's Upper Peninsula and then was nearing Lake Huron when ultimately it was taken down by fighter aircraft. And what this senior administration official... Yeah, so, you know... They're saying that the U.S. military shot down a uh, unidentified flying object. Okay, and um, I'm gonna play this other video because you know you you could you could take that you know however you want to, right? Oh well, you know. Described is that it. Was that doesn't mean that it was a uh, you know an alien craft, you know, as as the world would say, you know, because these devils can't shoot down. All right, we we know we we know we understand that these devils can't shoot down. Uh, um, um, you know the angels. Okay, they can't do it. They can't shoot down a chariot. All right, these chariots are you know from 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 another. Uh, um, it had it at the, These uh, chariots men are from another realm. Okay, you know, the technology and the intelligence of the technology is on another level, man. He, he, that, that 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 Esau hasn't, you know, uh, uh, hasn't been revealed to him. On how to, you know, on 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 a how these different, uh, you know, these the, these vehicles, all right, these chariots work, all right. So let me play this other video because diagonal shape it shows. This other video shows, um, you know, Biden, you know, President Joe Schmo, all right. Uh, pretty much saying, see, look, it says, uh, you know, the brother posted it, it says deep fake is already at work, all right? And what he mean by what he means by deep fake, all right, is that these devils, you know, the military, the, the, the government, they have the blue the blue beam project, okay? Look that up, the blue beam project, okay? Matter of fact, we'll look it up together. How about that? All right, the blue beam, blue beam project, blue beam project look 
so the blue beam project let me see um, yeah whatever blue beam let me see what this is this is from Wikipedia blue beam let's see why oh, they don't have anything let's see um, uh, Project Blue Beam, that's what it's called. Project Blue Beam, uh, it, it says a conspiracy story uh, likely invented by Serge Monas. Come on, man. We know that these things are true, man. All right, they, they use these things at sporting events. All right, I forgot what year that was 2018, maybe 2019. All right, where that they showed, all right, at um, these uh, sporting events. They showed them using the blue beam, okay, the blue beam, uh, uh, the project blue beam, I should say, all right, where that they project uh, different images, and it seems like it's real, it seems like it's there, like, it, you know, it's right in your face, but it's not, all right, it's actually just a projection, right, let me see, uh, Baltimore, yeah, Baltimore Ravens, uh, uh, eagle projection. Let me see. I want to find that video just really quickly. Salakia, I know we're deterring off, but um, I'm going to find that video, Laura Willing. Uh, image live because he actually did that during a live game uh, before the game started I'm trying to see if I can find it um, let me see let's go to images can't find the video so let's just go to the images all right um, See, they have they had this raven just flying around the stadium, you know. But it was but it was digital, you know. It wasn't real. All right. Let's see. I can't really find it right now. But um, hey, just just uh, look it up, okay? Just look it up. Some you know some of you bros that maybe watch uh, sports probably seen it. You know, it was back in, like I said, maybe 2017, 18, or 19. All right, and uh, yeah, let me see uh, something that I had that I had up. So I can let me go back. Yep, let me get this here. It's the book of Second Corinthians, chapter two, and verse eleven, and it reads: "Least Satan shall get an advantage of us." For we are not ignorant of his devices, okay? And it's talking about those that are in the know, okay? Those with those of the hopeful elect, those that, you know, have that or, or possess that thawa, okay? Not the karagma, but the the uh, spiritual mark, all right? The the uh, thawa, all right? This knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. So let me go into that word, all right, devices, okay? The second... Um, the second uh, definition it says a plan method or trick with a particular aim see a plan method or trick with a particular aim see so and we know Esau's plan and his you know his, his, his uh, method you know you see and his trickery all right and and and, and you know all that bunched in you know the aim you know his, his ultimate goal, okay, which is world domination, man, all right? He wants to be the Heavenly Father, okay? He wants to have, you know, a, a, um, you know, dominion over the earth and everything and everyone in it, okay? Ultimately, you know, give, given everyone that, that uh, C-hip, okay? That, that, that uh, karagma, okay? So let's, uh, let's go back here. I want to show you this video here, Joe Schmo Biden. 
and what he said. Ladies and gentlemen, as the commander in chief of the United States Joint Forces, I am here today to inform you that a number of unidentified flying objects have appeared over many parts of our country. Though their exact origin remains to be fully determined, the FBI has informed me that it is very likely that these are visitors of extraterrestrial nature. I advise the American people to remain calm, not fall into panic, and wait for further announcements. We shall overcome this threat with confidence and vigilance. May God protect our souls. See? So Biden addressed the nation, okay? You know, you know, uh, speaking upon this uh, UFO, this so-called UFO, this unidentified flying object that was flying from uh, uh, 20,000 feet from over Wisconsin to uh, uh, Lake Michigan to uh, entering into um, the state of Michigan, okay? You see? And, 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 and the way he presented it, as if you know it was a so-called alien uh, uh um, um you know an alien right <laughs> or what they call an al an alien okay which we know are the uh, chariots and, and the angels of Yahweh Shemuel Shai you know so if you match up what he's saying and then what the reports are of them shooting down this 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 uh UAP or this uh UFO unidentified flying object that doesn't that doesn't match up with the scriptures man we know that that's impossible okay because they can they can never shoot down a chariot okay so we don't believe you esau you see we don't believe you man all right because we know your ultimate goal okay we know what your ultimate goal is all right the public doesn't understand your ultimate goal okay even even the even the ones that are so-called woke right but we understand Hit your ultimate goal. All right, so let's get into these scriptures, man. Been talking long enough. All right. Uh, matter of fact, let me get this here. Let me get this in Psalms. All right, it's the book of Psalms, chapter 58, and verse 3. And it reads, get right to the point. It says, The wicked are estranged from the womb. All right. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Okay, so 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 to sum it up, we know that this devil is a liar. Okay, he's always been a liar. Okay, you know, from the moment he came out of his mother's womb, he was a liar. Okay, well, how can a baby be a liar? Trust me, they're liars. Okay, but well, Salakia, trust Yahweh Bashimiah Shai and the words of Yahweh Bashimiah Shai. You know, this man is a liar. Okay. So we don't trust anything that this devil says, man. All right. Uh, next scripture. Let me see. Book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus chapter 12 and verse 10. And it reads, never trust thine enemy. Okay. And we know that who our enemy is. Okay. You know, you hard-headed, stiff-necked Jake. You know, two-thirds of the nation of Israel. You might not understand and know who your enemy is. Even though you've been told. You might not know. Right. But we know, all right? The hopeful elect, we know. You know, Yahweh Ratazah, we'd be of that number, all right? Which means, Lord willing, we'd be of that number, all right? It says, never trust thine enemy, okay? So we're never going to trust what he says, anything he says, or anything he does, right? It says, for like as iron resteth, so is his wickedness, yeah, all right? Iron, no matter how pretty, no matter how strong and tough and oiled up it is, man, all right? Eventually, it's going to rest, Okay? Whether it rests quickly or, or, or it takes, or, you know, it uh, rests over time. All right. Eventually, this devil is going to show you his horns. He's going to show you, hey, I'm the devil and you shouldn't have trusted me. You see? And that's what you people, you know, uh, uh, two thirds of the nation of Israel, that, that's what you're going to, that's what you're going to see in a minute. Okay. Is that you shouldn't have trusted this devil. You see? Let me get this next scripture. Um... Let's see, the book of book of Isaiah, chapter 10, and uh, verse 1. It says, Woe to them that decree unrighteous decrees. Okay? And decrees are what? Mandates, man. Okay? It says, uh, uh, um, And that right grievousness which they have prescribed. See? All right? Which, which, which right grievousness which 
they have prescribed. All right. Let me go into the translation comparison. All right. Same chapter, same verse. Same chapter. It's like the same book, same chapter, same verse. All right. Just NIV it says, woe to those who make unjust laws. See, because ultimately, man, this is, you know, you, you know, they're putting this out into the atmosphere. OK, remember, uh, one of Esau's powers is it is uh, uh, the power of secrecy. OK. All right. So he rather would lie to the public about something just to keep what, you know, uh, uh, something that's true secret. OK. He rather hide the truth and, you know, he rather tell you to tell you a lie just to hide the truth rather than just tell you the truth. See. All right. So in that, if he's coming out with it, if he's coming out with anything, it's for an ultimate reason. This devil is not uh, stupid. OK. This devil, this devil is not ignorant. All right. <laughs> he's proud, but he's not ignorant. OK. So he knows what he's doing. He's putting this out into the public so that uh, 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 um, when he makes his moves and put, you know, put his laws into effect. Right. Or, 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 you know, performs an action down the line. Right. He can always point back to this. See, well, see, the only reason why we did this or passed this law is because we needed to pass that law because of the UFOs, the, un the unidentified flying objects that we have shot out of the skies. And it might belong to China. It might belong to the little, it might be aliens. And see, and you people are just going to eat it all up, man. Oh, yeah, that's why. OK, I'm going to give all my freedoms away. All right. Here you go, Esau. Thanks for protecting me. You see, <laughs> but that's something to know. We know not to trust this devil. All right. It says, woe to those that it's like woe to those who make unjust laws to those who issue oppressive decrees. OK, see. And, and, and they have prescribed them. OK. They're the reason why, uh, 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 um, you know, they're the ones behind, you know, the entire plot, the entire twist, the entire plan. OK. Even though they're pointing fingers at China or aliens or who or whomever else, right? It's really them behind it, you see, because they want to oppress you people, man. Okay. They want to oppress you, man. All right. Let me get this next one. Um, Salakia. No, no, no. Let me go back. Prescribed. Now. Before I close it out, I want to go into that word prescribed. OK. Let's see. Prescribed. Yep. Now, when you go into this word prescribed, OK, let's read that one more time. All right. Isaiah chapter 10, verse one. Woe unto unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness, which they have prescribed. OK. So Esau has prescribed this. Now, what does prescribe mean? OK. Let's look at this definition right here at the bottom. OK, I'll put it at the top here. All right. See it. It says a state. All right. State author authoritatively. All right. Or as a rule that an action or, or or procedure should be carried out. See. That matches up with this with, with uh, the precept of uh, Isaiah 10 and 1 perfectly. All right. And it also matches up with the characteristics of this devil, Esau Edom. OK, let's go into the similitudes. All right. It says uh, uh, stipulate. Right. Stipulations. Right. Lay down, you know, like laying down the law. You see, dictate. See, Esau is going to dictate what he believes or what he feels, you know, you people, you know, uh, uh, in, in America should do. OK. Or should not do. All right. It says uh, specify. All right. Well, the only thing he specifies is his lies. Right. With with more lies. It says impose. Yeah. Like imposing your will, you know, imposing Esau is going to impose his will or, or, or going to continue to impose his will upon you people. You know, set down. All right. Determine. Establish. He's going to what? Establish his his, his uh, new draconian laws. See? Fix, formulate, like formulating a plan, right? It says appoint, right? Decree, order, command, pronounce, 
ordain, require, direct, enjoy. It's like enjoying, all right, which means to instruct or urge someone to do something. See, but he's not gonna uh, uh, um, urge you to do it. Yeah, you should. You should do it. You should do it. You should do it. You know, ultimately he's, he's going. He's going to peer pressure you. Okay, or 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 enjoin, right? You to get that that karagma, all right? That's ultimately his plan, man. All right, but his plan, all right. Matter of fact, let me, let me finish it off with this. All right, that's why we don't believe this devil, man, because we know what his end goal is. All right, but even though he's gonna be eating, it's not gonna work, man. All right, he, he's not gonna finish his job. He's gonna build this master plan, and he's not gonna he's not gonna be able to finish it, man. Why? Because Yahweh Bashim Shai said so. All right, the heavenly Father Yahweh said so. That's why. This is the book of Saint Job, chapter twenty, and verse. Uh, let me see where I'm at in time. Okay, good time. Uh, verse 22 Let's get right to the point In the fullness of his sufficiency He shall be in straits Now notice that, now notice that word is not straits As in a straight You know a straight line right? It says straits which means A, a position of difficulty Alright The Lord is going to put this devil okay, While he is building while he is eating okay, While he is going through with his master plan Of getting everyone sea hipped all right. The Lord is going to ultimately uh, throw a monkey wrench inside of his whole plan, inside of his whole his whole operation is going to throw him down. You know, he's going to be in a position of difficulty. All right. And ultimately, that's going to come in the hands of what? Yeah. Uh, his son, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach returning. Right. Along with the actual uh, uh, chariots of the Lord. All right. And the archangels. And then also, uh, um, you know, nuclear warhead hypersonic missiles. You know, being being shot from these other nations onto this whore, Babylon the Great, aka America. It says, "Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him." Yeah, those are the, the other nations. Okay, the other nations, man. When it says the wicked, it means the heathens. All right, the other nations. All right. So, Lockie, let me see. Just to make sure I got that right. All right, the wicked. See the word there. All right. The laborer, sufferer, all right, wretched one, laborer, workman, sufferer, toiler. Let me, let me go into this word here, the root word. All right. It says the laborer, the toiler. All right. The, it says work severely and with, yeah. So it's talking about the other nations, man, okay? Because the other nations aren't ruling the world right now, man, okay? They might, you know, they might be uh, uh, rulers on the, on their own lands, but they're still being uh, uh, ruled over by who? Esau, Edom, man. All right, because the Lord ordained that, you know, that the earth was given into the hands of the wicked, Job nine and twenty four. Right. So these other nations are going to turn on, on this horde, man. Okay, and you see it already, man. All right, with the, you know, you know, let's say, let's say these spy balloons from China are true, you know. Uh, uh, um, hey, that just lines up with prophecy, man. Okay, that that <laughs> these other nations like like China doesn't trust this devil enough, man. Okay, where that they send in their own uh, 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 spy balloons to spy and you know to see you know what this devil is really doing because they know that he that that he lives by secrecy, man. Okay, you see they don't trust this devil, man. All right. None of these nations do, right? And ultimately, man, they're gonna hate this devil. They're gonna hate this. They're gonna hate the whore, and they're gonna shoot this place down, man. All right, with thermonuclear fire. Verse twenty-three, when he is about to fill his belly. So when this devil is about to uh, finish off and cap off his master plan of being of getting everyone sea hipped, right? It says the heavenly Father Yahweh shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. That's right, man. He's gonna throw a monkey wrench inside of his uh, uh um um machine, man. And shall rain it upon him while he is eating. See? Matter of fact, let me, let me get the translation to this really quickly. Same book, same chapter, same verse, just different uh version. The NIV it says, when he has fulfilled, it's like when he has filled his belly, God God will vent uh his burning anger against him and rain down. 
his blows on him. Yeah. And let's see. In KJV, it says, when he is about to fill his stomach, right? The Heavenly Father, Yahweh will cast on him the fury of his wrath, and he will rain it up, uh, on him while he's eating. Okay, that said the same thing. NLT, may God give them a, a belly full of trouble. <laughs> May, may the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, rain down his anger upon them. And yeah, he, yeah, he's going to do that. Definitely going to do that. Um, the YLT. It come up to pass at the filling of his belly, he sendeth forth against him the fierceness of his anger. Yea, he reigneth, it, he reigneth on him uh, in his eating. Yeah, you know. So the Lord's going to throw a monkey wrench inside of this uh, uh, devil's plan his ultimate plan man all right which we know that's that's what everything all the lies that he's telling you know that he's telling the public it's all leading to that implementation all right that mass worldwide implementation of this uh uh c hip all right this karagma all right but as soon as he's about to uh, uh fulfill his ultimate plan his goal his master plan man the lord is going to throw him down all right so I'm going to end it there. Lord willingness, edifying to the body and the faith of the sheep through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemiah Shai, Shalom, and Ababa Ball.